Hello and welcome to the whatcar.com podcast. This week we go inside Nissan's manufacturing plant in Sunderland to see exactly what it takes to put a new car together. We'll also take a look at some proposals for new car tax from the Liberal Democrats and from Chancellor Alistair Darling and we'll discover that more than a quarter of whatcar.com readers have admitted to driving without road tax. Saab has also been laying into the government for not doing enough to encourage biofuels and we've been testing the latest new models. So, stick around and enjoy the show. It takes just over eight hours for Nissan to put a car together at its Sunderland plant, but it's a complicated business. Take a look at this trailer of a great new video feature that's online on whatcar.com right now. Nissan gave our video crew a tour of the plant recently, and we saw the press shop, the body shop, the paint shop, and the final assembly line. It's a fascinating place, so take a look at our dedicated video today for a more in-depth exploration of the UK's most productive car plant. New proposals from the Liberal Democrats could see motorists landed with tax bills that run into the thousands. Liberal leader Simingis Campbell said anything from a V6 petrol engined Audi A4 to luxury versions of diesel 4x4s like the Volvo XC90 could be hit. Meanwhile, the Times reports that Chancellor Alistair Darling is considering a £2,000 penalty for motorists that buy a new car that emits more than 254 grams per kilometre of CO2. At the same time, the newspaper reports Darling is also considering a £2,000 incentive for any motorist that buys a car that emits less than 100 grams per kilometre of CO2. Not an awful lot of choice there, but let's watch this space. Have you ever driven without a valid tax disc? In our survey, 5% of you said that you regularly drove without a valid disc while a further 21% said that you had done so once or twice. Unpaid road tax is estimated to cost the Treasury no less than £217 million a year. Saab's boss has been criticising the government for not doing enough to incentivise the use of E85 biofuel by motorists. Saab's biopower versions of its cars run on ethanol. But MD Janaka Jonsson said not enough was being done to encourage the uptake of the fuel. As a result, the UK has just 16 refuelling points, compared with 900 in Sweden and more than 100 in France. Johnson said it was also strange that London Mayor Ken Livingstone had not granted E85 cars exemption from the congestion charge. If you're looking for new cars, we've uploaded loads of new videos and road tests for you to look at on whatcar.com. Watch our video review of Hyundai's new i30, a rival for the Volkswagen Golf, or see what we think of Subaru's radical new direction for its Impreza in our latest road test. There are also verdicts on Mini's new Clubman, and our first tests on a trio of Mercedes, including the C-Class Estate, and the outrageous C63 AMG and SLR convertible. Next week, the whatcar.com podcast comes to you from the launch of a brand new compact off-roader from Volkswagen, the Tiguan. Come back next week for that, and for lots more news.